Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be doing a beer review from Foam Brewers, and this is their Dead Flowers. Another company that has some really cool can art. This is an India Pale Ale. It's coming in at 6.2% ABV. Uh, also, Foam Brewers, they are based out of Burlington, Vermont, one of my favorite towns, just because the band Fish is from there. Uh, this one's a little old. This was canned on 5.31.23. So this is just under two months old at the time of this review. Um, doing some research, uh, they are using Rawaka and Southern Cross hops on this one. Uh, I think that's about it. Let's bust it open and see what we get. I've got a few beers from Foam Brewers and primarily I've liked what I've gotten from them. Hashtag proper glassware. We'll do something like that. So that pours out a nice light yellow hazy color with two fingers of rocky white head. Yeah, boy, that almost looks like Pineapple juice, I would say. Very nice beer. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. It's got a nose. So I'm getting like a citrus, lime, lemon zest, I would say. Huh, but also uh, some tropical fruit juice, like, what was that, like high C, like the red, red tr juice in the box you would get back in the day. But also underlying is this green herbaceousness. It's not dank, it's just a, a, a green, almost like a, a funk. Somewhere between a barnyard funk and green grass herbaceousness. Smells good. Cheers. I'm gonna say Body mouthfeel, higher side of light body. It's got a smooth, pillowy mouthfeel. It that's nice actually. It's it's refreshing. With you know it being light, but it's nice and pillowy. So I'm getting, like, uh, flavor-wise, melon and, like, melon and pineapple, some citrus. So I, I am getting that, like, lemon-lime zest. Yeah, um gotta think about this how it's hitting it's it's actually fairly complex here so 
So it starts out kind of subtle, actually. I'm, I'm getting a, like a subtle melon on the front of the palate, followed by that that pineapple and, and uh, lemon lime zest. Pineapple, lemon, lime, zest, just kind of high C fruit juice as well. And then on the finish, I'm getting that green herbaceousness with some farmyard funk. Yep. That's, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I would say there's a very little, very faint, dry finish. Um, but I mean faint. It, it's, it's a rather smooth finish, I would say. I wouldn't say it's... there's no bitterness just a, a very faint dryness on the finish yeah that's all I'm getting for this one so rating foam brewers dead flowers coming in at 6.2 percent which you cannot tell by the way It's a nice, refreshing, crushable IPA. Uh, but it's not like a... <laughs> I've heard others say, dare I say bombastic. It is not bombastic. I would give this a, uh, a straight four. Four out of five. It's a good beer. Nice, light, refreshing, with subtle uh, notes from the hops. Nice melon citrus notes and I do like that farmyard funk I know some people don't but that's it's a nice change every now and then so all right with that said thanks for watching this video uh, hit that like button hit the subscribe button comment down below have you had anything from foam brewers before what do you think of them um, I don't know if I would say they're hit and miss primarily they've been hit for me with one or two misses so i i'd say they're they're fairly good brewery in my book until next time peace <laughs>